Would you like to know the secret to how I make a big chunk of my income using Pinterest affiliate marketing? Yep, you've heard right. My name is Katie and I'm a full-time blogger and YouTuber and a lot of my online income is coming directly from affiliate marketing. Now, honestly, as a beginner, this whole making money with affiliate marketing thing can feel very overwhelming. And there are a lot of shady strategies out there that just don't work or are breaking FTC guidelines. So there are things you need to know to make this strategy work. That's why today I want to share my favorite seven step Pinterest affiliate marketing strategy that is making me hundreds of dollars every week, sometimes every day. And just so we're all on the same page, what do I mean when I talk about Pinterest affiliate marketing? Pinterest affiliate marketing is when you're using Pinterest to drive traffic to a product or service that you're an affiliate of. So for example, you are promoting a product to your audience and when they click your affiliate link and buy that product, you get commission for that referral. Let's say for example, a dollar. Now, let me walk you through my strategy and to kick things off I wanted to share a quick screenshot here of one of my affiliate products and the income I made over the past couple of days and I'm not showing this to brag I just wanted to show you that this is income here that came directly from this strategy I'm sharing today so I hope this fires you up and yes I've been blogging for many years and the beginning of affiliate marketing was very hard for me so don't feel frustrated if you already tried it but it didn't work it took me a long time to figure this out but it's starting to work for me now. So let me share the exact steps you can take to replicate my results. The first step in my Pinterest affiliate marketing strategy is that I choose a product in my niche that I love and I'm familiar with. Now, there are many people who recommend simply to join an affiliate network, find a product with a high commission and start promoting that on Pinterest. Now, while this can work and I believe that you can make the one or other dollar here and there, it's really not what's been making a huge difference for me on my blog. I personally really started to see a shift in my affiliate income when I started to focus on a couple of affiliate products in my business. All of these products include a couple of things like first of all the product I choose are extremely relevant to my audience. Seriously, don't promote stuff that's not relevant to your audience. In my experience it just doesn't work. Second, I always start with a product I'm using and loving myself. Like if you're not using the product yourself, why would you ever recommend it to someone else? You wouldn't recommend such a product to your best friend in the real world, right? I respect my audience and it's not my plan to fool them, but to help them with my recommendation. And third, don't try to sell, just explain. When I promote a product online, I try not to sound too salesy. It shouldn't feel icky, right? When you know and love a product yourself, all you really need to do is explain how and why you're using it and why you like it. So for step two, I always make sure that the product I'm promoting has A, a good amount of traffic. So what I mean by that is that people are actually looking for that product. If there is no demand for that product, you are going to have a hard time making enough sales to build up an online income and B that you're getting a good commission from that product. So let's dive a bit deeper here. There are thousands of affiliate networks and products out there. Each product pays differently. Sometimes you get paid a fixed amount like $1 and other times you get recurring commissions. So for example, $2 each month. When I select a product, I make sure it pays decently. If you're making a dollar per product, you need to get a lot of eyeballs on your affiliate link and sell a lot of products. So to make a thousand dollars a month, um, you need to sell a thousand products, right? Now there are products with much higher commission. Like for example, you getting $40 per referral. To make a thousand dollars, you need to sell 25. That's basically one per day. Just became a lot more realistic, right? Do you see where I'm getting at? When you're selecting a product, product to promote, ask yourself if that product is relevant to your audience, that you are using it yourself, that people are searching for it and it pays out a decent commission. I know that selecting a product is not easy, but it's okay if it takes some time to research. And like I said, I always start with a product and service I'm using myself. And then I check if they have an affiliate program I can join. Okay, moving on. I hope you're getting value out of this. Now it's time to write your blog post. I know, I know. This video is called Pinterest Affiliate Marketing and we are getting there, I promise. But the thing here is that slapping a bunch of affiliate links on Pinterest is likely not going to work. Now I've tested affiliate links on pins and yes, it did make me the one or other dollar here and there, but right now it's not the strategy that's making me hundreds of dollars a day. So here's what's working for me. There's two types of blog posts that really work well for 
for me right now and that I'm driving traffic to from Pinterest. First of all, in-depth reviews. So that goes back to the beginning uh, where I said that it's so important that you know your product and use it yourself. I want you to write a blog post reviewing that product, share why you love it so much and the things you don't love about it and um, put it all in like the good, the bad and the great. When I do this, I share my experience and I review it like from all angles. I don't try to sell anybody this product. I'm just sharing my experience with it. And then if the person reading it is convinced, great. If not, that's okay too. And the second blog post that is really working for me are step-by-step -step guides and tutorials. These posts are my absolute favorite for affiliate marketing. I love writing and filming tutorials like this one and I love to help people solve their problems. In a step-by-step -step tutorial, I share exactly how I use the product. You can write several of those. So for example, one for beginners, advanced and pros or a how-to for a specific problem and how the product solved it. Like I see it like this. If I have a problem that I'm willing to pay for, other people are willing to pay for it too. And like I mentioned in the beginning, I usually only promote products I use myself. So I know they bring value. You don't have to worry about selling and that gross feeling you get to convince someone to buy something. You simply need to share your experience using that product and share how it helped you in your business or life. Let's move on to step number four, how to add your affiliate link into your blog post. So yes, I'm adding the link here and not on my Pinterest pin. There are other strategies where you could do that. But like I said in the strategy we are here, we're not doing that. So here's what I do. I always add tons and tons of affiliate links to my blog post. The reason is that I don't know at which stage someone is ready to purchase. Some people may need less convincing than others and other people may read the entire blog post first before actually jumping in. That's why I add a ton of affiliate links throughout the post. I usually add a link to the text every time the product is mentioned. I add links to the images and graphics I create so that they become clickable too. Then I add a call to action, click here button and add a link and some affiliate product offer discounts and coupons. This is working really well. So I say something like click here um, for 30% off. Now one word on disclosures, depending on which country you live in, you need to disclose that your blog post includes affiliate link. I do this every single time I post and publish a blog post, whether it includes affiliate links or not, just to be safe. This way I do not need to add an affiliate link disclosure on my pin later, as the pin will not include an affiliate link, but the link to my blog post. And honestly, I don't mind disclosing that I'm an affiliate for a product anyway. Sometimes it takes several days to write these in-depth posts and I provide a ton of value. So why not get paid for providing that value? Um, so I'm actually not worried about that at all. All right, let's move on to step number five and Pinterest finally. So here's what I do. I create pins. Usually I create one to five pins per new blog post and then more throughout the year so that I'm constantly promoting that blog post. I test out different designs and titles and see how they resonate with my audience. Now on my blog, what's Katie? Up to 80% of my traffic comes from Pinterest and 20 from Google, for example. So it's really important. And like I said, the pins I create include the link to the blog post and not the link to the direct affiliate product. Now I do understand that people want to have an easy strategy and just slap a bunch of affiliate links on pins and then boom, make a thousand dollars. But that's just not what has been working for me. I'm planning on making a video about that too in the future. And I do see potential in adding direct affiliate links on Pinterest, but I have a very specific thought on that. And frankly, it's not been paying me enough for now to follow that strategy all the way through. But this strategy here, leading people from Pinterest to affiliate blog posts that has actually paid me a lot of money. So I am sharing what I actually know and is working for me. And yes, writing blog posts takes a lot of work and there's no way to sugarcoat this. But also if it was that easy, if, like everybody would do it and everybody would be a millionaire tomorrow. Anyways, what I wanted to say about pins is that I try out different pins and different designs to see what resonates. Then over the upcoming month, I continue to create brand new pin designs that lead back to the same blog post. You are allowed to create multiple pins 
used for the same blog post as long as the pin design is different. So don't worry about that. Okay, and now it's time to wait a couple of weeks. Yep, I just said weeks. Your pins need to distribute and rank on Pinterest. You may see a quick traffic search in the beginning after posting your pin when Pinterest first distributes it to your audience, but the real magic happens after a couple of weeks when your pins start to show up in Pinterest search. I have a full video on how to rank on Pinterest here if you want to learn more about that. So showing up on Pinterest search means that when people are typing a search term into Pinterest, your pins show up as a result. They click on the pin and land on your blog post. Really cool stuff. Okay, step number six. I know it's a lot, um, but you got this. Now it's time to track, improve, update, and optimize. I always review my most successful blog posts and pins regularly. Like you want to figure out exactly what is working and what is not, and then do more of what's working and doing less of what isn't. So things I track include how many clicks did I get to my blog post from Pinterest, how many people clicked my affiliate link inside the blog post, and then how many affiliate sales resulted from that. I also periodically update my post I check if I could improve my writing or if I need to add an additional section. Make sure your post is in the best shape it can be. If I get questions about something, I update that as well. Your blog post really should be the end all destination for someone getting all the information they need about that. Then super important, every other month I check if my affiliate link is still working. Sometimes a companies move to different affiliate networks without you realizing. So now you're sending all this traffic to a link that's not working. Of course, this happened to me before. Here's another reason why this is important. There's two ways how you can make more money from your affiliate marketing links. Now listen up. First of all, getting more people to your blog post. So more traffic. When you increase the sheer amount of people seeing your post, you increase the chance that there's someone interested in the product. And second, you're improving your conversions. This means you're convincing four out of 10 instead of two out of 10 people to buy the product based on your recommendation. Improving, updating, optimizing your post throughout the year helps you with that second part, increasing your conversion. Great. Okay, and now step seven, my bonus tip, and I really mean that as a bonus step. For the past month, I've been testing out Pinterest ads to promote my most successful affiliate posts, and it has really paid off. So here's what I did. I turned some of my most successful pins into Pinterest ads, driving even more traffic back to my blog post. So yes, I paid for even more traffic. Now I'm definitely not an expert on Pinterest ads, so what I did is I went to my analytics and had a look at my most successful pins and then I used one of my top performers and turned it into an ad. Also, I want to say that you don't need to use ads to make the strategy work. I didn't for years. It's so important that before you ever spend a dollar on Pinterest ads, that you make sure that all the steps we talked about before are working and you are actually making money before that. If you are seeing that people are coming to your post and you are making sales, once you're seeing those results and you're getting those consistent sales, then you can invest into Pinterest ads. But I wouldn't be before that. I'm just starting to tip my toe into Pinterest ads, but let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested in learning more about. So that as a bonus tip. So there you have it. This is my exact seven step Pinterest affiliate marketing strategy that I use to make a big chunk of my online income from affiliate marketing and Pinterest. Now I know it's been a lot, but I truly wanted to share a strategy that is actually working for me right now. And like I said, this is not a get rich quick scheme, but something that takes time and effort, but I know you can do it. So I hope you got a lot of value from this video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button below. I'm posting a new video about Pinterest and blogging every Tuesday. So that was it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon. Cheers!